afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie Kamen. It is finally election day in South Carolina. The polls are now open for you to cast your ballot. Live 5 News has got you covered with team coverage all day long, starting right now at noon. Shelby Roberts is monitoring the city of Charleston's mayoral race, and Nick Reagan is keeping a close eye on the North Charleston mayoral race. They are joining us live from polling sites across the area. So we're going to start with Shelby. She's at the Charleston Main Library downtown. Shelby, what does it look like over there? Good afternoon. Yeah, Katie, polling workers that I've been talking to today tell me that they've seen what they're calling a steady trickle throughout the day. We've been here for about the last half an hour or so, but they tell me that at any given point in time, there might be about five or six voters that are coming in really across the time. They haven't seen really heavy periods where they've been swamped and not very much so dead periods. They also tell me that uh, they do expect that uh, rate to pick up a little bit later on after school lets out, maybe some of the parents that are coming after they pick up their children from school. They expect them to be here. Now, one of the big things I did hear from one of the poll workers, I spoke to Mr. John earlier today. He told me that what he is finding, one of the challenges he's finding, is that voters are coming to the wrong polling locations. Earlier today, and actually when I when I came in earlier, there was a couple that came in expecting to be able to vote here at the library because it had previously been an early voting location, but instead they were being turned away. They had to go to to their designating volley location. So poll workers are asking you to double check your accurate polling location before you come somewhere else. Now, voters here in the city of Charleston are being uh, asked to vote on six different mayoral candidates. To win, those candidates will have to get 50% of the vote plus one additional vote. And if not, there will be a runoff between the top two candidates. Now, for some context, the last mayoral race in 2019 between Mayor John Tecklenburg and Mike Seekins did go to a runoff. That's because Tecklenburg got 48% of the vote and Seekins got 34% of the vote. Now, and also additionally, uh, voters will have this ballot. On this ballot, they'll be asked to choose from the Commissioner of Public Works. They'll have three names to vote from there. And additionally, they'll be asked about a parks bond referendum. The city will be asked if they want to allocate and authorize $70 million in order to upgrade and create more parks and uh, 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 recreational facilities and pools and trails along those lines. So a lot for the city of Charleston voters to keep an eye on while they're here at the polls. Live in Charleston, Shelby Roberts, Life 5 News. Thanks for keeping us updated, Shelby. Well, let's now turn to North Charleston, where Nick Reagan is standing by at the Royal Missionary Baptist Church. So Nick, uh, Nick what are you seeing out there? Yeah, Katie, this is one of the largest voting locations in all of Charleston County with eight precincts all reporting here to the missionary Royal Missionary Baptist Church in North Charleston. Now, I've been inside and I can tell you that it is a smooth operation. And while there's a steady stream of voters so far, no lines, though one poll uh, the poll worker told me that they were slammed earlier today, but again, no lines just yet. Now, there are some big differences between the mayoral race in Charleston and the mayoral race here in North Charleston. The first of those differences being that there's no incumbent here and there are 10 candidates all vying for that open seat. Now, after 30 years, Mayor Keith Summy, he decided to call it quits and to not run for another term, saying he wanted to spend more time with his family. He's backing former police chief Reggie Burgess. Burgess is running against a number of big names, including John Singletary, who ran against Summy in the last two elections, earning 35% of the vote in 2019. Then there's also North Charleston City Councilwoman Rhonda Jerome and former City Councilman Todd Olds. There's also Charleston County Councilman Teddy Pryor. We actually caught up with him earlier this morning as he was casting his own vote. Uh, we are feeling positive. I mean, the energy is there. Uh, a few people was there already this morning. And so we feel positive that victory is going to come this afternoon when the poll closes. And that would be great for the citizens of North Charleston. They'll have a leader that take them to the next level. Five other candidates are also running for mayor. Curtis Merriweather, retired Supreme Court Judge Stephanie Ganaway Paisley, Reverend Samuel Watley, and nonprofit founder Jesse Williams. Of course, we'll be hearing from as many of those candidates throughout the day as possible. And Katie, there's another very important distinction in this race. Unlike 
the city of Charleston, where the top two candidates will most likely head to a runoff election. In North Charleston, there are no runoffs, and a majority vote will simply win this. That is a simple plurality election. That means at the end of the day, the end of tonight, whoever has the most votes, even if they only have 10 or 15 percent of the vote, they will win and become the mayor of North Charleston. And with 10 candidates, we're likely to see those percentage points be spread out among all of them by quite a large margin. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens tonight and see who will have at least one more vote than the next person on the ballot. Katie, back to you. Thank you so much, Nick. Well, voters today can also cast their ballot for Senate District 42. That seat opened up after former state Senator Marlon Kimson took a job with the Biden administration. About two months ago, State Representative Dion Tedder beat out State Representative Wendell Gilliard with a less than 1% margin to represent the Democratic side of things. Now, he is facing off with Republican nominee Rosa Kay for that spot. And as you head to the polls today, the Charleston County Board of Elections has a few things that they want you to keep in mind. Voters have until 7 p.m. to cast their vote at their assigned precinct. Make sure to bring a valid photo ID when you go to check in to vote. If you're voting absentee, you need to make sure that ballot is received by the local elections office no later than 7 p.m. today. If you need some help finding your polling place, just head on over to live5news.com and click under the big red box. And if you're struggling to find a way to get to the polls, no worries. Carta wants to help you out. The bus system will be offering free rides to voters today so you can easily and efficiently access those polling locations. All you have to do is tell the driver you're traveling to or from your polling site. And once again, as we mentioned, you can find your designated polling location by heading to our website and finding the link under the big red box.